Sam? Yes, sir. That's me. How are you? I'm doing all right. How about yourself, man? I'm good. Tell me what's going on. All right, man. So I bought this thing about a week or two back, and I knew it was going to be a little bit of a project. But it was running when I bought it, and it was only had a misfire. So what I did was I switched to spark plugs, got new spark plugs, AC Delco spark plugs, new spark plug wires. Um, I put another fuel filter on and made sure that I was going through. There's fuel going to the fuel rail, going to the injectors and everything, and I'm having spark. I pulled one of the spark plugs out, grounded it, made sure there's spark coming through. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting air because the throttle body's still opening up and everything else. So, But it's cranking, but it's just not starting. It'll backfire even, you know, even when it's trying to start, but it won't fully start. Okay. So it, I, So you're saying it does have spark, right? Yeah, it does have spark. Okay. I just pulled it out, it grounded it against the exhaust, and it has spark. All right, does it run on starting fluid? Um, kind of, not really. It doesn't really run on starting fluid. So you haven't replaced the distributor, have you? No, I have not. So the distributor, I'm just going to make this easy for you. The distributor goes bad on this vehicle all the time. So you can start, you can try just replacing the distributor cap and the, and the distributor rotor, and maybe that'll do the trick. If not, I would be willing to bet you probably have to replace that distributor. If this thing, if we had a fuel fuel pump issue or a fuel delivery issue, this thing would have no problem running on starting fluid because the ignition is in time, uh, the engine's in time, and it just lacks it's just lacking fuel. But it doesn't it it doesn't run you know good on starting fluid. So we. Most likely we have an ignition system related issue. I would go ahead and replace that whole distributor assembly, distributor cap, and the rotor, and I have a feeling that's going to do the trick. Okay. All right, so that you think will do it? Because I, I checked the fuel pressure where the fuel pressure sensor is, and you don't even, you know, just to check if there's fuel going to the fuel rails, I just pushed it down, there's fuel coming out. Um, but shouldn't it still run? I'm having spark from the distributor, or does that... Uh, have it have to do with like timing or something yeah sometimes the caps the distributor cap can go bad and it can affect the timing okay. you know um or the pickup inside the distributor can get weak and it'll affect the timing it can you know um cause all sorts of noise like if you were to graph it on a lab scope you know sort of a nice clean waveform it'd be just it'd be all noisy and the ignition system can't really fire appropriately um you know with that kind of that kind of signal so i would i would probably you know this thing doesn't have a crank sensor so really the ignition system is all, everything is really in that as long as the fuel pressure is okay and the injectors aren't an issue i would go after that distributor yeah i'm pretty sure the fuel pressure is fine because the fuel pump kicks on and you know i checked to make sure it's going to the fuel lines and the oil filter and the fuel rail so there's fuel going to it okay and it, and it backfires so you know that definitely means there's it's igniting, so it has fuel coming to the cylinders. Right. Yep. It's just, it's not fully going on. Like yeah, it's, it just sounds like it's like, it's like the engine wants to start, but it's just like it's something starving you, know? Exactly, it's right. Like it's just like fogging or anything, you know? Yep. So, how hard do you think it is to replace that distributor cap? The cap itself? Shouldn't be too hard. Where is it? The whole, the whole thing, the whole thing, the whole thing. Sorry. Hmm. It shouldn't be hard. Hang on here. It's probably one bolt that holds it down. And, um, okay. Well, you know what? Hang on. No, I'm sorry. It, it calls for about two hours. Motor time calls for 1.9. Okay. Yeah, so it might, be, it might be a little bit a little bit of work, but, you know, two hours isn't the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. It would definitely help. Yep. Because I don't think it's a compression issue. Because if it was a compression issue, then you know, I, I would probably be able to hear it. But you know, exactly. And it's, so, and uh, how much are the distributors? Do you know? Um, so I don't really. Oh man, I don't specialize in parts. You know, that's not my forte. But um, okay. yeah, that, you. yeah, that would be. Normally I have access, so we hang on a sec, um, cap and rotor. Sometimes I have access to, you know, part numbers and the prices, and I'm looking through here now, I don't see anything. 
Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Sorry about that. I don't. I I can't imagine it's gonna be more than a hundred bucks, more than two hundred bucks, probably much less. I would say 40, 50, 60 bucks. You can find it online. I would be very surprised if this thing's like over two hundred dollars. Yeah, I just Google it here and yep, here you go. 7500 114 119 yeah. Yeah, there's there's different ones, but you know, just a good one that'll work and work good for a while, you know. Right. So Alright, man. Well, I appreciate it a lot. You got any other tips and everything for me? No, I, I would say I just use? no, just you just go after the um you know, go after the ignition system and then double check. Once you get everything installed, double check. Retest it. If, if the same problem happens, again, rerun the test. Make sure it runs on starting fluid. And you can disable the fuel system by removing the fuel pump fuse or, or fuel pump relay. Um, unplugging the injector connectors from the injectors. See if it runs on starting fluid. You can even you can even rerun the test before you replace the distributor. So, I got it. Yeah. And uh, one, one other thing. It did have the check engine light on, and I read the code. You know, with the paper clip, mm -hmm. and it was a code twelve. Now, I, I I read different things online. Read different things. What do you think? Or do you know? Uh, for this code? Yeah, for the code twelve. I don't even have a. Uh, I should know this, but this is this vehicle so old. <laughs> I don't. I'm sorry. Um, hang no. on here. Hang on, let me Google it. Code 12. Uh, if code 12 does not flash. Oh, look at that. Triple code 12. Look at that. Means there is no distributor reference pulse. <laughs> so, yeah, that just kind of confirms my theory. We got to go after the distributor. All right. All right, man. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll find one and I'll bang at it. All right. Well, sounds good. Well, good luck, okay? All right, I appreciate it, man. All right, you bet. You're welcome. All right. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.